What's up guys, it's Kara here, and I wanted to do a little bit of a different video with the Olympia coming up a little less than a week out. I'm filming this video on Sunday, um, so it'll probably go up during this week. Um, but the Olympia is coming up, and I know a lot of people have been posting videos with their predictions for who's gonna you know, win for bodybuilding this year. And I thought it might just be fun to do a video and tell you my predictions for who's going to win Miss Bikini Olympia this year because maybe I'm going to get some hate for this, but let's be honest, I think bikini is a huge part of why bodybuilding is still so popular. Um, I hate to say it, but if you go to the majority of shows, the majority of competitors are comprised in the bikini division, and a lot of times that's why they have bikini last because that's why all the people will stay in the audience because they want to see the bikini competitors. Um, they're fun to watch. It's extremely competitive and just com continues to get more competitive. So I thought it'd be fun to share with you my predictions. Um, let's just give it up for chemicals for one minute and I want to share with you um, my new favorite uh, energy drink of choice. For those energy drink lovers, this is Rockstar Pure Zero, and the flavor is seriously on point. It's mango orange passion fruit. I don't even like eating mangoes, but it tastes phenomenal. Um, so yeah, quite a bit of caffeine in this puppy, so let's give it up for artificial sweeteners and chemicals right here. Good stuff. So anyways, that's my little side note. Anyways, back to the Olympia coming up. Um, so Ashley Colt Watzer has won the past two years, and that was the first time I believe any bikini competitor has won it two years in a row consecutively. And uh, she is competing again this year. So for me, I honestly feel like it'd be very, very tough for anyone to beat her. Her package stays on point all year round and she is just like the ideal bikini competitor in my opinion. She's the epitome of what bikini should should look like. Um, she's drop dead gorgeous. Her symmetry is on point. She's, she's a taller bikini athlete. I forget what category she is. However, when you're pro and in the IFBB, it doesn't matter. Height is taken out of that mix and you compete against everyone when you're at that pro level. It doesn't matter how tall you are. So she's got the height and she just has a slamming package. Um, overall presentation is always perfect with her. Her hair looks perfect. She goes with that sleek, straight black hair with that emerald color that really pops on her with her makeup. Um, she's not overly jacked. I mean, don't get me wrong. She is lean. She's muscular. She's tight. But you don't look at her and say she's someone that's like on a bunch of shit or, you know, she just she looks like what I think most girls strive to look like. She has a very obtainable physique, but you can tell she works freaking hard year round to maintain that physique. Um, so I just, I clearly love her and she, I think, will be very, very tough to beat considering she's won the past two years in order for someone to beat her, they're really gonna have to bring a better package than what she has because she's gonna be bringing the same package but even better because she's a competitor and that's what she does. So she's gonna be tough to beat. Um, I will say like there isn't a list out right now that I could find of who's officially competing this year. So aside from what I know from stalking girls on Instagram, I'm not sure the end all be all of everyone competing in this year's Olympia. So um, I'm gonna give you my top five or six girls based on who I know will be there and who's won in the past. Um, you know, in terms of qualifying for the Olympia, some girls, qualify, I believe, automatically if you win a competition, and then otherwise it's based on a points scale, um, based on how many IFBB competitions you're in and how well you place, gives you the points to then go to the Olympia. So um, with that being said, I was looking at the girls that placed top five last year, and I believe a couple of them will not be there this year, one of them being Yush Yushira, Yushira Rebels. Sorry, I'm going to totally mess up people's names. I'm not good with names, but um, she just had a baby, so I know she won't be there. Otherwise, I would have placed her high, but I know she won't be there. And I don't believe Amanda Latona will be competing. I could be wrong, though. I mean, she qualified, so I'm not sure 
For some reason, I don't think she is, so I'm I'm kind of counting her as not in this mix. But last year, um, Janet Layug, if I'm saying that correct, that was her first Olympia and she placed second. And she's looked phenomenal all year round in her competitions. And I think she looks even better now than what she did at last year's Olympia. Um, Stacey Alexander always places extremely well. Um, she's a long timer. She's been competing for so long. Um, she's extremely knowledgeable in this, in this sport. Her package, again, stays on point all year round and her posing is also on point. Um, and then the other person I wanted to mention too is India Paulina, Paulino. She's, again, always places very, very well in all her competitions. She got, I believe, six place sixth place last year in the Olympia. So again, I think she's gonna do really well this year. Um, so I'm just gonna like pull this out of my butt and tell you what I think. Um, Stephanie Maho, I think is someone to watch out for. She's placed extremely well all year round in all her competitions. I really like her, I like following her, um, the physique she brings. She's got a nice amount of muscle on her, really great symmetry. Again, posing is perfect. I mean, all these girls pretty much offer the same things in bikini, that full package. Um, Oh, and the other person is Courtney King. She's coming back into the mix. She had taken some time off, and now I saw she started competing again this year, and she's qualified for the Olympia. And again, she, to me, is up there with Ashley Kaltwatzer in terms of her package. She's got that taller frame, very nice symmetry, um, and just really graceful stage presence. So if I had to give you a top six, I'm obviously gonna go with my first place as Ashley Kaltwatzer. Um, I think she's going to win it third year in a row. I really, really do. Um, I think it's going to be very hard to beat her. Um, I would say number two might be um, if Stacey Alexander is competing, I would place her probably second. Um, she got third last year. Um, or do I think Janet will go second? Well, Janet got second last year, so if Janet's competing again, which she th I think she is, I'll give Ashley first, Janet second, Stacey Alexander third, third, um, fourth I'm gonna give to Courtney King, fifth I will give to India Paulino, and then if I'm to give a sixth place, I wouldn't be surprised if you notice all the girls I name, with the exception of Courtney King, they all have very dark hair. I think Tanya Eubanks also looks phenomenal. She's placed very well in her competitions. She also brings a different package, I think, with that nice blonde hair she has on stage to help her stand out. So I think she could be up there in sixth place. Um, there's several other people I like, like Justine Monroe. I think her package should be top five, but I want to say she almost never is top five at the Olympia, even though she should be. Her glutes are just, no one tops Justine Monroe glutes. So I think that's my top six. I'm just guessing, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure for Ashley Collett are taking home Bikini Olympia 2015 for the third year in a row. So we will see um, how it goes at the Olympia. I will not be there. I think Mark will be there for MTS Nutrition, but I think he has more like conferences and business type meetings. So there won't be an actual MTS Nutrition booth. Sorry guys, we'll see you at the Arnold though. Um, I think that's it. Those are my predictions. I want to hear from you guys out there who follow bikini or the sport guy or girl. Let me know who you think is taking home the Bikini Olympia this year. So comment below and we'll see how how correct I was. Give this video a like if you like it and keep checking back for more. It's to prove that it's gonna harm my health whatsoever. So for those that will ask that, that's your answer there. Um, egg beaters, whites, and the substitute. This is not shopping on a budget by any means. You'll notice I spend a lot on groceries because I do a lot convenience style, eggs being one of them. Not to mention there's like some bird flu going around right now and like all the chickens got all fucked up or something because all the eggs are gone and they're super